What's up guys? I'm Tadayoshi CJ and welcome back to another video on my channel. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make 3D anime trees in Blender. So first of all, you can see this scene. The trees here is 3D, right? Obviously, but it is also animated and it looks hand painted. So for the tutorial, we're going to start with this. To make a tree like this, go to edit preferences add-ons community or an official then search for sapling tree gen then enable the add curve sapling tree gen so once you've enabled that make sure to save the preferences just to be sure or check the box here in auto save preferences next go to curve sapling tree gen so oh it's here next if the pop-up button of the sapling tree gen just press f9 all right just press f9 then go to geometry the we can load preset and uh, yeah we're going to pick the white birch tree for this project now so now press f9 again because it disappeared go to leaves i mean go to branch splitting the levels to three so we need more branch for more leaves because more branch meaning there's more space for leaves go to f9 once again go to leaves make sure it's hexagonal yeah you can pick if you want to be rectangular or it's up to you but in this project i use hexagonal then show leaves and now we have leaves right so we don't need the branch anymore all we need though all we need are the leaves so going to delete the branch or the tree itself then we're just going to take a little part of these leaves so press this toggle x-ray then select shift and select let's check yeah. then press p separate selection and now let's delete this all we need is this by going back to the main scene we need to set the origin into the origin to center of mass surface so just right mouse button then there you go so that if you rotate it it's going to be easier so just double click or to rotate this freely in 3d so remember to save your project so before that it's going to delete some leaves here because it has missing faces yeah, but it does not really matter since this is won't be visible in others so next go to edit mode select all go here in the transform pivot point make the median point two individual origins so press a then make the leaves bigger right so now we have leaves after that let's rotate this next go here in this view shift d shift d random sizes no just randomize it now we're done select all then control J. now that we've joined the mesh together our next step for this is the shading so set the origin again into the surface origin of the center of mass surface now we're going to copy this first then i'll just explain it to you step by step so okay let's make it more and control j once again okay last before we before i start explaining the node setup which is very simple as well you can see why the gradient here is good right why it's flat and why here it has so many it's rough right the gradient is not that good here because you can see the light passes through on some of the limbs so what you can do here is just rotate it in the right direction you can see that so this one looks bad so a while ago it's like this right so i just rotated it in the x-axis then rotate it slowly until you find the perfect view of it now see if this view it's look pretty bad but in this view it's look good so another another thing that affects the gradient here is the word properties the strength of the word properties for example i set this into two see you can see the gradient is not that good once again but if i set it to 0.7 it's good right it's better but if i set it to zero it's much better 
See? It's much better. It's very... It, it really looks like 2D, right? So, 0.7 is enough for this. And now, let's get back into the shading. So, first of all, emission is important here. Material output, add shader, emission, then principal BSTF. The emission, I set it to 0.3. You can just copy this. In the principal BSDF, this is the base color, which you can copy the hex code if you want to. So, if you copy this tutorial, you will have the same colors on the, of it. So, the emission strength is, of course, 1. I mean, the color of emission is, of course, 0 here in the principal BSDF. Then, the emission here, 0.3. The curves are not tampered. Okay, for the color ramp, I have four colors, which are this, the black, this one, this color, you can just copy the hex code, this one, and this one. So by the way, this one, the value of this is 1.6. Because if you set a value, the maximum is only one, right? But you can do this 1.6. Okay, so the value of this is 1.6, just so you know it. Okay, now for the gradient texture, just set it to quadratic. Invert is not necessary, but sure, you can put on it. Then you can just control T this, then copy this if you want. Then the texture coordinate is only in generated. If you put it in normal, you can experiment it also. If you want to, in UV, it looks like this. In object, it looks like this. So, generated is, of course, the best one in this situation. But you can experiment some ways. So, next. Another thing that affects the smoothness of the gradient is this is the light. So, the light here is 1. But if you set it to like 5, if you set the light into 10, it looks like this. But if I set it to 1, you can see some of the leaves become colorless. I mean, it becomes the color of the gradient. The light doesn't really affect it much, right? So, once again, focus here. Next, now that we've done the hardest part in this one, we can focus on the base tree. So before I go there, you can make your three, three models also with particle system, which you can model your own shape of your leaves. So, then another thing, you can also go to curve, subplane, region, uh -huh. F9. You can import and export your own preset, but I never use this, so you might just check it out in other videos out there in YouTube. Moving on to the next step. So, moving on to the next steps is one of the important things in this project, in this tutorial. So, which is, we should make the base color of our tree, right? So, the base color of our tree should be really dark. So, for example, this one, even you rotate it, it looks 2D. It looks 2D. So, this is the power of 3D, okay? It looks 2D, even you rotate it in any direction. So, for this one, I use this node setup which is very easy once again add shader you can remove this the emission is 0.1 it should be dark so that because since it's the base color then maybe add a blue tint on it dark blue so this is the hex code gradient texture is quadratic invert is unnecessary but if you like sure you can because it's already black so we need to remove this then this is the mapping which is a bit of which is not necessary as well. So, this itself is. So, yeah. Basically, this is all you need here. Yeah, I, did, I didn't notice that. So, why it is important. So, you can see this one. So, since this is the base color, just copy it. Copy, copy, copy. Then, put this here a little back because if you put here it won't blend right it won't blend that good so we need to put it back a little bit 
where you can see the merging of the two other two different colors All right then let's do this forward down a bit And now, it's very easy, right? See, you, you've already got a tree, but it's not done. We'll, already, we'll just half of the way. So, the next ex so the next important thing is animation, right? So you can just simply animate this one. Add a mesh, empty, maybe sphere, so that it is very visible into our eyes. Click this one to modifiers add a displacement modifier new object control this select this object empty the strength is one at the moment so select a texture of clouds make it a little bigger so if you move it you can see now it's animating right so we need to focus on one step on the on one direction only so yeah, lessen the strength. Then press N to to the transform panel. Then the rotation or location, yeah, but the rotation is fine. And a drive, maybe frame 100, 50. The bigger the number, the slower it gets. Yeah, sure. Make it, just make it 400. And now you have an uh, animated tree. So in this case, so in this case, it's best to animate the light parts only so that it would be really visible. So select the light parts, then select the last one that is already animated. Control, control L. Then link or copy modifiers. And now you have an animated scene. See? Very cool, man. So we're not done yet. Another thing you can do is go to curve, sapling region, F9 animation but show the leaves first go to animation our mature oh yeah i forgot that we need to check the use our mature go to animation then fast preview and now it's already animated right by the way you can also edit the animation speed if you like but what i want you to see is this you can simply select this copy the material Boom. But they did the right way. Damn, man. See? The power of 3D in anime. It really does look cool. Very nice. But we're not done yet. Lastly, for the cream of the crop. Which I will be showing you in a second. Wait a minute. Focus on here again. Hide this. So, you see this one? You see this one, right? So, this is the cream of the crop. See? It blends the gradient very decent. It does really looks hand painted already because of the watercolor texture. And you can do this in every part of 3d anime trees like this one which i just made this recently and this video i will upload this full animated scene tomorrow or in two more days so this one this thing this color painted this is included in my 2d anime green spark which is this one you can see so i've already reviewed that review this in my other videos oh see it's very cool right then lastly we can do this for another 
details. Select a bit of leaves. Pick. Put it in front. By the before that, set the origin into the origin of center of mass surface. Let's move it to the back until it, it almost disappeared. All right, all right. A bit bigger. So you can see. You can also add a little bit details of like this to be more detailed. And now we're done. But just look at the water color texture here. It really looks cool, man. It really does looks anime. And it's also animated. See? So yeah, that's all for the tutorials. By the way, this is just one of the way to make anime trees. And I know at least five more ways, yes, to make anime trees. So this is just one way to make anime trees. And I will upload more tutorials on how to make anime scenes. So once again, I'm very thankful to all of you guys, especially the year 2022. I've shared many moments and I've just started this channel in my year, in last year. And I did not expect that many of you really like anime styles. And thank you once again. See you soon.